finally, after a long wait and having no AC charges for my electric car near my house, I, like a lot of other people in the inner west of Sydney, now have a couple dozen and soon there will be well over a hundred with another round to be installed at a later date, maybe in about a year. Okay, I'll show you how one of these new AGL AC EV chargers works in the area near Dulwich Hill Shops. Let's have a look and see how it goes. A lot of the parking places for these chargers are not dedicated, so you aren't guaranteed to get a spot. Hmm. The people who planned this say that in the future there could be thousands of chargers like this across Sydney and it's better to have undedicated parking spots because it's a lot cheaper to install chargers like this on power poles without dedicated parking permit fees and parking bay fees paid up front and annually to local councils. What do you think? Hmm. Well, let's see how much AGL charge because I found this in my letterbox. They are the ones who are running this first batch of pole side EV chargers in the inner west. And what they're saying is find the nearest charger on their map, make sure you have your own type 2 to type 2 cable and connect and you're good to go. Charging is free until the end of January 2025. So until then you don't need to use an app or an RFID card. After that you will have to pay. We'll see how much they charge per kilowatt hour. Now let's try it out on my own car, an MG477 Long Range. Okay, first we plug it into the car. And then, let's see if seven meters is long enough. It is long enough, excellent. Waiting for vehicle to respond. Looks like the charging session is beginning. What can we do on here? So my car supports 11 kilowatt AC charging and this unit is supplying 10.05. Shows how long it's been charging for, how many kilowatt hours you've got already. Hmm, that's an RFID tap symbol, I'm assuming. It doesn't say RFID, that would be good. Um, there should also be a sticker here explaining that this is an AGL charger and how to use it. Unfortunately, the sticker seems to have blown away. As you can see by the green pulsing light, my car is happily charging away. I wasn't happy with how the charging cable was going through the really long weedy grass on the verge here. So I've tidied it up to make it a lot safer. I'll show you what I did. I think running it along the inside edge of the gutter makes it much safer and not a trip hazard anymore because it's easily seen. I wish charging AC charger cables weren't black. It'd be ideal if they had, I don't know, black and yellow hazard stripes or something to make them easier to see. Um, let's show you what I did to make the charger cable much more safe. Plugging into the car and then it's going down along here. No one can trip there, definitely guaranteed. All along there. And up here to the charger. Let's have a look and see what it says. AGL, join the charge. 10.18 kilowatt charging rate. 17 minutes so far and 2.89 kilowatt hours. So how does that compare to charging at home? Well, let's have a calculation. 96, 98 minutes is how long this charger, 11 kilowatt charger is estimated to finish charging my car from 80 to 100% on the AC charger. And at home on a seven kilowatt single phase unit, that would take instead of 98 minutes, it would take about 140 minutes. Hmm. 
So these public chargers are a bit faster, but obviously they'll cost more than charging at home. Hmm, you've got to decide whether you're in a more of a rush or not. And yeah, or maybe it's useful for you to public charge while you're parked and going to a shopping mall or some other place. Okay, so estimated charging completion by 1532. We'll come back then and see if the car is done. So we were charging for an hour and 45 minutes. The charge went to 100% a few minutes ago and the char car added 16.62 kilowatt hours to get from 80 to 100%. So this AC street charging EV trial experiment worked well, but will it always work well? I don't know. I think a lot of people are already frustrated EV drivers in the area have been messaging me to say they've tried to use some of these new AGL undedicated parking spot chargers and found that they're blocked not just by one car but by multiple cars. So that's not really ideal. Hmm. We'll see what happens in the long run, especially after AGL starts charging for the use of these at the end of January 2025. Let's get back to it later and see what happens. Catch you later. Please like and subscribe so I can make more videos like this for you. Thanks and see you later.